have you ever been going through some kind of mental health challenges maybe due to challenges you're facing at home or at work or with someone and you try to discuss that with a nigerian telling them how it is causing you mental health issues such as severe depression heart attack anxiety and so so on and so forth what was their reaction i am really really curious to know what was their reaction if you have experienced that please let me know at the comment section most of them i bet you will deflect on you especially those of them that haven't really gone through the same challenges that you have gone through they never do understand instead they will make it look like it is nothing like as if you are exaggerating or making up what you are saying even if they are going to believe you they might start treating you like colo because to them mental health is simply gagas nigerians take things on a surface level they always take things as a cruise they don't understand that mental health is not only someone who don't go color but it also includes someone that is going through severe anxiety heart attack panic attack depression um severe migraine and all these things that might lead to severe body deterioration death and all these terminal illness and when these complications in the body starts the cure is far away it takes a long time I am a witness to this and this is why I am taking this seriously hello my co-host how are you doing welcome back to another review with Telesis. today I am going to review the story of Mubad for my non-Nigerian subscribers that don't know who Mobad is, Mobad is an upcoming Nigerian talented artist who passed away very recently on this date. His passing caused a great heartbreak in the hearts of everybody because of the way the event went, everything that went down prior to his passing away. The story it was scary. With this, the question for today is, can you imagine feeling completely trapped in a toxic relationship or environment with no one strong enough like your oppressor to help or guide you? How might this sense of powerlessness contribute to worsening your mental health and the sense of hopelessness? Take a moment and think about this. This question, my dears, underscores the feelings of powerlessness Mubad felt, I feel Mubad felt, from being trapped in a toxic situation with, with his former record label boss that may have contributed to his deteriorated mental health. As some social media updates about his life struggles stated and the growing sense of hopelessness in the absence of support as his many musics be cried. He called himself Imole, meaning light. Though he didn't want to go, it wasn't his time, but they forced him to go. But his spirit is so strong that he depicted the lies that he is that he has to show up in everybody's heart nigerians across the globe stood up and mourn him and stand up for justice to change what the system is the demise of mobad with his former record label has exposed the struggle of most africans casing nigerians it is in Africa that you will see a family consisting of only three siblings but they all have different experiences from their upbringing from the same parents it is only in Africa you will have talent great talent but you can't shine because your parents are nobody even though you choose to struggle to make it most times you go here and wait before you get there it is in Africa that you will find a destiny helper, but that destiny helper becomes an unusual destiny destroyer because it is all about them and not you. 
forever dominance and control, otherwise Kasala go bust. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on. It has become a way of life, making it very difficult for people to actually take step to show deep empathy, deep love and continuous support to someone who is going through severe circumstances like this one especially to those of the lower classes those who don't know those who don't have voice to speak for them this has become a very tacky issue to break down and analyze because it is surrounding bully and bully has levels there are different aspects of bully and this is a different level of it so because it is surrounding bully and a different kind like i said I have decided to categorize this after analyzing the circumstances as a narcissistic bullying. So right here, I am going to define for you what narcissism is. Several reasons that shows people are narcissistic bullies. And then finally, how you as an individual can avoid these kinds of people depicting these traits so that you wouldn't end miserably. Narcissism is a personality trait characterized by an excessive sense of self-importance, a need for admiration and attention, a lack of empathy, and a tendency to exploit others for personal gains. There are two types of narcissism. One, the healthy narcissism and the pathological narcissist. The healthy narcissist are the ones that exist on a spectrum they have a reasonable level of self-esteem and self-confidence while the pathological narcissist are the extreme and dysfunctional ones when they are unchecked that's when they become i call them narcissistic bullies at this point it becomes really challenging because they oftentimes don't acknowledge their behaviors and they oftentimes refuses to seek help instead they boast in that their capabilities they see it as strength they see it as smartness and they never do apologize for their wrong they feel too big to apologize for their wrongs seven reasons why these individuals are seen as narcissistic bullies if you can spot any similarities to what Mobad went through or you yourself have gone through or someone you know, comment at the comment section. I agree to this one. Number one, control freaks. They are all control freaks and they have high desire for power and dominance, which makes them to be like that. They often have a strong desire to be in control and to dominate others. If they do not see any way to do this, they will start bullying to show superiority to their victims. Number two, lack of empathy. These people lack empathy. Like in the definition of narcissism, it's already stated they have difficulty in understanding or caring about the feelings and needs of others this makes it easier for them to engage in hurtful and abusive behavior without any form of remorse it's really that bad with them that they will do you very dirty like the kind of dirty that they did more bad wake up the next day and completely erase it in their head you will be getting hurt, getting sick, going through mental challenges. They don't bloody care. They might see you tomorrow and be wondering, why are you acting up? What happened? Why are you angry? And that is the one that drives crazy. These people lack empathy. Number three, need for admiration. They are always in deep need for admiration and validation. Anyhow, to get others to praise and cater to them goes because they derive a sense of self-worth from these attentions. You saw that trait clearly when Mubad's former boss came online to start saying that people should appreciate him for the effort he puts not to be a 
serial killer oh my god or is it the one that he talked about his desire or he will or whatever sleep with mother and daughter like who, who does that who comes online it, it can imagine audacity that's to tell you how these people are because they have no empathy they've lost it all there's no feeling everything they feel like is and they are entitled to do it so you should be praising him for the efforts he puts not to do extreme things like how dare you can you do this in western world let's say he's living in britain and mobad lives in britain here too and he made this kind of comment it doesn't matter when he made it and eventually his boy by his boy by there is no questioning especially the way he take by he will be the first person they will grab because he had come outside to say that he makes so much effort not to be doing such thing and then the story come they surround this kind nyama nyama where they go around to the fodong hijack and says when they go to africa they will be doing nonsense when they come abroad they will just cold like ice water like this because he know now they will they will give him every eye will be on him number four entitlement they often have an exaggerated sense of entitlement and believe that they deserve special treatment when they perceive they are not receiving this special treatment or attention they believe that they are entitled to they may resort to bully as a way to demand it number five manipulation and exploitation they are very skilled i mean highly skilled manipulators and they use bullying tactics to manipulate and exploit others to achieve their goals they might bully others into doing their biddings or to gain access to resources or advantages did you not hear about this with mobad and his former record label did you not hear it number six projection they can project their own insecurities and negative feelings onto others the possibilities of engaging in bullying behaviors to deflect their own flaws onto their victims should not be neglected because they do it a lot the final one number seven which i term as the grandfather of all of them is fragile self-esteem they always have fragile self-esteem they are wearing a fragile self-esteem beneath that their outward grandiosity in simple terms grandiosity means disguised self-confidence and when this grandiose self-image is threatened or challenged the response may be aggression and bullying to protect that fragile in the, in the uh, nature i'm using may here because of youtube in reality there is no may they do this so don't be guessing that they are not going to do this don't dare them don't dare them better avoid them avoid these are the people that our people say hat day for back at this point they will resurrect something with no link to the discussion that you have even forgotten now just to hush you just to disgrace you because they know that when they raise that thing you will stop talking about what you're talking about and start defending yourself that way their ego will come back again because you are deflated you are if they have shamed you and you know that when they meet you the first thing they do is to learn all about you because they are very smart they will be play like they are very good friend of yours to get all the information and get everything about it at the tip of their fingers so whenever you try to have issues with them they will bring up one of those weaknesses that you told them in the past to hush you so the final one is how do you avoid these people remember that i told you in the beginning that when i defined what pathological narcissist is 
that I said that it is a very challenging behavior because they don't acknowledge their behavior and they don't acknowledge to seek help. So the only prevention and intervention strategy for a victim of a pathological narcissistic bully is to create a safe and supportive environment, safe and supportive space. If you are a victim or you know someone that is a victim or you sense someone is a victim, advise them to create a safe space where they can get support give them advice where they can disappear and the reason why creating a safe and supportive space is highly advised is because they highly want their victims to be around so that they will continue tormenting them which gives them joy so if you make them aware that this individual, this victim is trying to go away, they are not going to let it happen. You saw it happen with mobile. So if you are a victim or you are a brother of a victim or a friend of a victim, the first advice you have to give them is to sneak away or you help them to sneak away or you tell them to sneak away from that environment to a far away place that they will get support. And then you need to show them love, show them care and empathy because what they went through or what they are going through, in reality, if you do not understand these um, narcissistic bullies, you might think the victim is the problem because these narcissists have a way of framing their, framing things and put everything on their victim. So you will start seeing their victim as a problem and see them as the nice one. So these victims need empathy, love, care. So promoting empathy around them is very important. Next one is building healthy relationship. And this one is particularly important for families, around kids, around family members. In the midst of this AI and technology, electronics, video games and all that, Kids can really get attached to this thing and lose empathy and love and solid relationship. So you need to start young. Start early to make them know, know about empathy. Build a healthy relationship with them. Teach them how to show love. Teach them how to engage, how to show empathy. Show them equal love. Treat all your children equally, regardless of who they are or their behavior is, because there's no way all their behaviors is going to be the same. The reason why they are all different in their behaviors is because all those, their different behaviors is the strength they will all bring into the family to bring solid relationship and thrive as one family. So do not choose other people's weakness as the reason why you should hate them over others or love others over others. There is nothing like perfection. All of them must have weaknesses. So you should learn to love them in their weaknesses and their strength and build healthy relationship around them. The next one is teaching individuals how to recognize and respond to these bully behaviors and act immediately on time to be able to save other people from losing their lives. To break it all down, what Mobad went through with his former record level and what most people may be going through as we speak right now in different ways shows how much support system our nation needs when it comes to start creating strong awareness to bully mental health and creating a supportive system. Music industry and Nollywood is highly toxic. They are filled with individuals like MOBA's former label. And the annoying part of it is that the local ones that can write and can sing and have talent, they are the ones that are being relegated. But the ones that, they, that are abroad or that came back from abroad, maybe because of accents, they are the ones that are being pushed and being portrayed and being respected. Meanwhile, another person might be writing their music. But 
Look at Mobad, he writes his music and he sings it, Pack of Talents. But he was bullied for I can't say what killed him because the, the investigation is still ongoing. But this is the ordeal of so many people. And this needs to be taken seriously to mitigate it. And we cannot stop it. We cannot mitigate it if we do not stand together, if we do not work together, if we do not start from home to start teaching empathy to upcoming children because this thing had been around from time immemorial. The conclusion I will say is no one can make greater history than a living individual. So do whatever you can do to stay alive instead of making someone to make your journey shorter than expected because six feet know they make difference i know some people will see his name flying everywhere like a difference no he would have made a lot more difference if he had been alive for this i will say thank you for listening what do you think about this review please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed Please share this video. I really want it to go viral so that people will hear it and act. Impact is needed around our society. Through this video, I need people to act. Do your part to share this video. Hit the like button. Comment so that it will keep going viral. If you are new to my channel, thank you for joining. I really do appreciate your welcome. We do have a blog also, in case you do like reading articles. It is called www.tellnototelassist.com. The articles we have there are different from what we have on videos. If you are also a writer and you want me to put up your write-up on the blog, you are free to bring it forward. And so this is where I would say thank you for watching. You know I always love you. One love. Bye-bye.